Hey guys, good. Welcome back. We are watching Ray Zero season two, episode twenty-two. And in last week's episode, we got the whole gang. We got Garfield, we got Otto, and Subaru at the mansion. They are going to intercept the attack. Thankfully, um, right now we ended ended with Subaru facing Betty once again. But then we have you know the siblings reunited. Otto, we're not sure where he is, but I'm sure he's off doing whatever he needs to do. There was another enemy, the girl there, so maybe that's where he went. Petra probably went to see Rem. And of course we have Amelia, she has gone back in her trial to do the second trial. And then we have Ram, Puck, and Roswell. So they are clashing right now, okay? So everything is actually, it feels so peaked right now. Like everyone is at like a, like a potential turning point, you know what I mean? So guys, we're gonna jump into this episode and we're just, we're just gonna see what happens. Hearing that from anyone but Ram. <laughs> this guy's really down bad for Ram. <laughs> Bro, he wants to hear only from Ram. Child, I will not forget you're 14 years old. Their age gap is not even that big, though. Okay, so she's going to see Ram. Garfield, get it! Smash her face in, bro. Yep. Oh, okay. I said that, but... He went the extra mile and dragged her face in. Why is her face still pretty like that? <laughs> she looks so relaxed. messed up bro Ugh. right she has that too right it's like she also is like doesn't say anything mm -hmm. they go back He came back for you. Subaru did not leave you, just saying. It means they didn't forget about me. I knew she was gonna say that, like. So she's like low key feel. Bruh, Subaru didn't forget about you. He came to this place. You know how many times he died? How many times did he die when he came here? Did he die twice? Or three times? Bruh, he's been in through enough and he still came back here for you. <laughs> Not that she would know, but the second girl he's got to yell at and flipping diss. <laughs> she was supposed to write her own fate. Even if she was supposed to wait for someone. Bruh, how is Subaru doing this? He's flipping vocal cords. Like, each dang episode, he's got to put some sense into somebody. He's got to do some vocalizing. Like, do you... <laughs> how many times have I seen Subaru talking like this to a bunch of different people? <laughs> bruh, he's trying to get a bunch of waifus, bruh. It's not even... If you are that person. Yes. Just be like, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? Oh! Oh, he 
Wait, didn't we meet it before? Wait, is she the one that broke it just so she can get them faster? <laughs> Wait, no? Am I wrong? <laughs> it's probably like, oh, they're on that floor. Breaks the ceiling. <laughs> Whoops. Bro, I didn't even notice her. I didn't even notice her. I didn't even notice her there. Bro, that's a hippo. Yo, Petra actually responded. She's jokes. She's like, ah, we're friends, right? <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I didn't expect her to respond like that. Don't die, though, please. This time I am not. Ah, good, good, good. I love when the enemy just lets them have this nice heartwarming talk. That's usually when they're mad confident. They don't mind letting the others talk. They're like, I'm gonna whoop you anyways. Otto, talk to the hippo! <laughs> I know Garfield's gonna be okay, but I'm still scared. That still stressed me. Wait, it's eating those bat things, but those bat things are just circling it? Those bat things are stupid. Ooh. As if she was still alive now, that's messed up. She's handling it well so far. It must be much easier because she saw her too already in her past. So like... <laughs> you're beautiful now. <laughs> Does she not see anything? Wait, is she conscious right now or is she kind of like in a... Oh my god, this dude makes me so sad, I'm not even gonna lie. I never thought I'd feel this way about him. Aww. 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 What could he say that would offend her? Why would that offend her? Am I missing something? <laughs> Honestly, she has... She has really cute responses, like, I'm always not too much, I'm always not too keen about the whole hitting when you're embarrassed, but hers are more realistic. Like, that makes you feel better. The other ones where the girl, like, literally whoops the dude, throws something that deadly to his face, or, like, sucker punches his teeth out, I'm like, why so aggressive? But her, she does a little, like, <laughs> so, it's so much cuter. I feel like she's not really conscious right now. Like, she, she's in her dreamlike state, but she's literally in the dream. Like, I feel like she's not realizing... It doesn't seem like she acknowledges that this is a trial right now. Like, I feel like she's... Do people really get tripped out because you have some food on your face while you're eating the food? Like, like it wasn't like all the way over here, it was on her lip. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amelia, did you hear that? <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> 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 
She was down. She was like. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You know, she's extra cute here. She's so cute right now, Amelia. Aw. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. Okay. So unlike what I thought, it seems like she's actually very much there. She's like a little bit younger than she is now here. Bro, this is so sad and not even true. Oh. I love you both. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy because in this world, he would have been in her life a much longer. When she, in her past, in like what really happened, she only knew him for like not that much like where they actually met and interacted and all that it wasn't like that long at all so in comparison in this world based on her age she would have known him for much longer and really probably has a very older brother or like stepfather type of vibe which is like so cute i love you both oh what in the heck okay so she seems pretty present Is that Archie? Okay, yeah. And then she would have a little sibling! For real, this is really sad. It's unknown, dang. So this is her trial. Oh. Coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so sad. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's the kind of a gift. Dang, I can. That's honestly kind of a gift. She doesn't want to hear this from you. Look at that face! Is it because she's defying everything you think you know? Is this why? Why do you keep saying that? Y'all look the same, low-key. Like, they help- Bruh. They look a lot alike, so... I guess she doesn't- Does she mean actually? I think she means more as a who she is. We're not the only ones. Oh. Oh. She going straight to the third one? In one piece. Hehehe. <laughs> I love Yuzu. I know those are, I know those are her like clones, but they're still so cute.
<laughs> Seriously, she has no business being called Elder. <laughs> I'm so used to her going to gunk. <laughs> oh, you know what? Cannot be put aside. You know what? Um, I just realized maybe the whole maybe Ekina saying I hate you is just deeper than that. Like she's gonna be, free, uh, she's gonna be um freeing the sanctuary and maybe that just maybe that's just hitting echidna a lot harder than we expected or you know especially probably she didn't expect much from amelia and i have mine let's see what she said there you go So this one will be the future. That was very nice. That was definitely really touching. I started to feel tension here just at the whole idea of like the present thing. That's very heartbreaking, honestly, to see what could have been and to see how nice it could have been and then to wonder why it could not have been and just to feel like what a loss, you know what I mean? So that's definitely really tough in any case like but i really really do love amelia's character development i definitely did have a heart i i always liked amelia i've never had like full-on issues with her but i definitely felt some not fully pleased i, de I definitely wasn't fully pleased with her character in the past um there were definitely instances where i felt like she had a lot of attributes that seemed typical to a female heroine that you just want to you know i felt like it was somewhat basic not too unique and just there were some traits that just bothered me and i kind of felt like they were just very typical traits but you know when you see how relevant it is to her growth as a person and also you know the fact that there is enough sufficient story behind her having been how she was it definitely brings the whole character like full circle which is definitely much more satisfying than let's say if she never had character development bruh she never had character development if she never had an appropriate backstory like that would have all just been so frustrating i just would have felt like she, like they really didn't put much thought into her as a character and they just kind of left her as the more vulnerable you know female female character you know what i'm saying but i'm definitely really happy to see that they are they definitely wanted to put a lot of thought and growth into her character and it's definitely showing. I just love how she speaks now especially. I feel like like she's just that much more accepting of life and the way she just her the way she behaves like when she was talking to Archie you saw it a lot. When she turned away and spoke to you know the other two uh, Juice and Fortuna when they were like there and she was sad and all but she turned around and she just spoke the best she could and then mostly when she was talking to Archie and stuff like that. She has almost a humorous way of speaking now, um, as if, you know, like, just take life as it is, honestly. You can't do much about what happens, so. Hello, Batsby. Please charge. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this off. Shoot, what was I saying? Okay, well, anyways, yes, her character growth is very, very good. Um, so I'm very happy about that. And I'm very excited to see what the future trial is gonna be about. They said, like, as if what's to wait is something bad, and it's just, like... And if this really shows, like, the legit future, I can't, I can't imagine it would really show the legit future. Probably, like, the most plausible, reconstructable future, but, like, I can't imagine it's really gonna show her the future. If that's the case, then, you know, that's very advantageous, I would say, no? I guess it depends. Sometimes the future, knowing the future can be advantageous or completely not, so. But yeah, so we did not touch up on Ram and what's going on with them and Rosval, but we do know that they currently are in the midst of combat. Um, and then of course at the beginning we have Beatrice and Siveri and he's gonna get her. Betty is pretty like, what she needs is pretty simple. She needs, she needs love. <laughs> she needs love and she needs a future. Something to hold on to, something to believe in and a place where she feels she belongs, you know? So that's really all she needs, and there's enough people in, vis in her vicinity, especially Subaru, that can offer her that. 
And then, of course, we have Garfield. He's handling Ms. Bow Hunter. And then Maylee and, you know, Frederica are going at it. And I hope they all come out okay. And the others are heading off. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave how you guys feel. Comments down below. No spoilers. And I'll see you all again in my next video. We're going to see how this is all going to start to wrap up for season two, guys. So thank you so much and bye.